What the hell? So we just jumped on the scales. 183.4 pounds. Crazy. Now this video was going to be about me deciding if I'm actually going to be able to make my goal weight for the show. But having just jumped on the scales and seen my weight this morning, I'm going to nail this. You know, I was contemplating making the video today about if I'm going to make it. And so if you guys see the name of the description, am I going to make it? It's because really and truly, for the entire week, that's what I've been thinking. Am I going to make it? As of yesterday, I had six weeks before I go and step on stage. Today, it's five weeks and six days. So time is edging in. And I was weighing around 187 pounds for the entire week which I have a goal kind of stage weight in mind of 175 pounds to 178. It's kind of a weight range, which I know my body looks good at. If I get any leaner, which I can, I, I tend to lose my fullness and my shape. And now for, for physique, which is what I'm entering, men's physique, I can't afford to look small and flat, especially in the US, because these guys are huge. So 183 pounds and um, five weeks and six days to go. That to me is bang on track. And if that is a true weight um, against yesterday as well, which was 185 pound, probably a little bit flat today, but if I'm within that 183 to 185, I'm good. I'm good for the show because we've got five weeks. You know, I've still got a lot of calories to play around with. You know, I'm still on around 2,450 calories. Yeah, I can actually still cut away the calories. I can still increase my cardio. And I can always be tight on my nutrition, but I've been pretty good this week. So yeah, here is a quick physique update. So this is how I'm looking right now. So this is me just chilling, relaxed, showing you the exact me in complete natural lighting, just turning around, giving you guys that truth. And here I am now showing you some more physique poses, some men's physique poses of how I'll be flexing on stage and showcasing my physique. So the goal on stage is always to make yourself look as broad on top and as small and tapered in the waist as possible. So every pose that I do is to accentuate my shoulder width, my lat width, um, and really try to show a small tight waist. And so every angle you do, every pose that you transition into needs to make yourself look the most flattering. Um, and that is the thing with competing. It's um, a bit of an illusion, actually. You're not just showing your body and your definition. You are cre creating an illusion for the judges to make them draw their draw your attention to you and score you higher on their scorecards. And that is the goal of competing. And that is how you win. I'm pretty happy with things. Um, having woken up at this weight, you know, it's really motivated me because when your weight is flat, it really does get to you and you really start having that self-doubt. But if you stay true to your diet, if you stay consistent and you persist, you will start seeing the numbers that you want to see. But saying that, numbers aren't everything. It's not all about seeing the scales drop every single day because it just doesn't work like that. And as I said in a previous video, when you don't get enough sleep or you're a bit stressed, your body holds on to water. And so sometimes all you need is a really good night's sleep. And that's what I had. And as a result, my weight has dropped. So we're good to go. So that's it guys, it's a very quick update for you. Just kind of sorting out the hotels, flights, accommodation. I've got a lot going on while I'm over in the US. I'll be flying over to Boise after the competition as well. Uh, do some shoots for bodywood.com and I'll also be spending some time in LA, training at Gold G in Venice Beach, hanging out, having some good fun and just enjoying the entire journey because that's what these things are for me. Competing isn't just about getting on stage and showcasing and winning or losing. It's about enjoying the experiences and journeys that come with going through the process and that's what I think people need to do more of is enjoy what they're doing because you put so much emphasis and time into getting there and if you don't enjoy the process, 
then you've lost to me. You've lost it, even if you've won the, the competition. So you have to enjoy it. And that's what I'm going to do. So thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel because that is where it's at. And that is how I get your support. And that's how I stay motivated because of the comments, the likes, the shares and everything that you guys give me. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.